Hey there, it's Tom Corson, the Authentic Health Coach, and we're here today with Dr. Candace Corson, and we're talking about probiotics. So, Dr. Corson, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what probiotics are and why people need them? Those are the good germs that live in a healthy person's intestine, and they're really not optional. A healthy person who has not been exposed to antibiotics and who is really in peak health is going to have about 10 times more of the good germs in their healthy intestine in terms of numbers, then they actually have cells in their entire human body. We have about 10 trillion cells that make up the human body, all the kinds of different cells, but we have 10 times that many of the good germs, many different kinds, in our intestine if we're healthy. And we used to think they were sort of optional, or they were kind of just sitting there. Now we realize that they are so important that without them we lose our health. We lose our immune function, we lose the balance of our immune function, our immune system becomes hyper-reactive to things it shouldn't react to, allergies increase, food allergies, respiratory allergies, and just an irritated immune system happens without these good germs. So we really don't want to destroy them, and that's why it's so important to never use antibiotics unless the benefit of using them is really deemed by a thoughtful physician uh, to be outweighing the risks. So there are times that we have to use an antibiotic, but we're always going to lose are good germs. And that's when I recommend probiotics, that we want to take those good germs into our body on a long-term basis, maybe for several weeks after having a course of antibiotics. We need to replace them and we need to eat really healthy food, a lot of vegetables and fruits, plant-based food, which those good germs thrive on. It, it, it also helps our body get well, but also our good germs need that good nutrition. So it's all a healthy balance and we can do that with a healthy nutrition and putting those good germs back in place. It's really not an option if we want to be healthy. We have to make sure we take care of our good germs because they take care of us. Great. And can, where are some places that people can get more probiotics? A good quality health food store would be a place that you can get uh, some multiple different kinds of strains of these good germs. They usually come in more than one. One of the familiar ones that we have all heard of is Lactobacillus acidophilus. It is a good germ. But there are probably 500 or more species, some of them haven't even been defined yet, that are the good ones in our intestine and they work in a group, um, like an ecology, an ecosystem. So I would recommend taking a probiotic that has multiple strains of healthy, good bacteria. And you can get that sometimes in a liquid form, you can get it in a dried powdered capsule form, or even sometimes a little tiny chewable uh, for children or grown-ups called a pearl. And there are different good companies that make those. I would act, ask at a good quality health food store. And what about yogurt? We see a lot of commercials these days with all the yogurt companies saying we've got uh, these great probiotics in there. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? Yogurt is one way that may work for some people. It does need to be organic because that is important to decrease the amount of toxicity that we're taking in uh, through what's fed to the cows and then concentrated in their milk. So organic and plain. We do not want to be taking in foreign to nature substances that are a strain on our body, like artificial sweeteners, really bad idea, those are toxic. And then also we do not want to be taking in white sugar, refined sugar, because that feeds the growth of unhealthy bacteria in our intestine. So we really want to have those, uh, the things that we eat be very low in natural sugar. So plain yogurt uh, would be one option, plain organic yogurt. But it's just not the only way to get probiotics. There are many other ways, cultured foods, healthy cultured foods like sauerkraut and things like that. And then supplementing is a, is a good way as well. Some people need to avoid the protein that's in the milk of cows, the casein. And for that reason, I recommend the uh, encapsulated or pearl-like uh, or non-dairy probiotics. Great. All right, that's it for today. If you want more info about nutrition tips and ed education, come join us at AuthenticHealthCoach.com. Have a great day.